HS could can be expanded. I believe that is the position that we are coming from. So without saying specifically that we don't want anyone, all benches are capable of being expansion, particularly bearing in mind. And this is something that there a number of the clients that already we are representing, yeah? there have been repeated insinuations by our people out there, including senior council of Benazil Abdullahi, that the senior bench is supposed, to, three judge bench is supposed to do this or the other. We can't help that. This is not coming what, from what the we'll do, we'll, What we'll do is we'll arrive is that uh, we'll mention this matter tomorrow. I'll appreciate what time I lost. At nine. Most of lunch. Most of the people actually here, we have served them, but you shall serve the notice of hearing. All right. The notice of hearing for the mention tomorrow at night. I thought my Lord Attorney would have been easier. Because by the time I go to my office, there will be no to serve this. Or probably left. You know, you know by the, the time we stand here means that even if you come at 10, you find us here. <laughs> my Lord, what time then do we come tomorrow? The court starts at 9. Yes. You can come at 11. Yeah, but I am not in this particular file that you record my presence together with the other lawyers I mentioned earlier as appearing for the deputy president in the second response. This one? Yes. The very file? Yes. But you did stand up and submit it. I thought you were not here. Patiently wait. This matter of uh, 570. Yes. If you look at the party, the deputy president is the second of the So you agree with the directions which you have given? I accept the directions. And I will be here tomorrow at the end. Inshallah. <laughs> <laughs> The same matter? Yes. 570. Yes, my name is Manzon. I wish to go on record for the first interested party. Mm -hmm. uh, your Lordship, uh, my lady, may I be placed on record for the second and the fourth interested party. That is what happened. And permit me to only indicate the implication of the orders of the environment that were issued by the judge who directed the Chief Justice Dax and Pang Liu. To the best of my thinking and knowledge is that the prayer was granted as it is for the empowerment of Five bench. Five bench, five judge bench. Mr. Jeru. Jeru. Jiro. Jiro, yes. They want you. We speak from the record. <laughs> you had me mention the parties. I said that this file has been empaneled to comprise the Honorable Mr. Justice Eric Ogola, the Honorable Mr. Justice Morima, the Honorable Dr. Judge Freda Mugambi, I think that's very clear. We are only three. That, that's correct. But I uh, uh, will address it more on that issue. My lord, my lady. So we mentioned it tomorrow. Mr. Well, Jerry, you say you come to for which parties? You know, I appear for the second and the fourth interested party. Thank you. Perhaps if I may make a request. My Lord, there is a file that is live in court. Uh, 
and that is petition number 565 of 2024. We have requested, my Lord, that you give directions in respect of the applications in that matter, because this process of taking forum might take some time. And there are three cohorts of files that are before you. And if I may just be given a moment to explain myself. As the court has correctly identified, there is a cohort of files that are consolidated in petition 522. There is a cohort of files that is consolidated around petition 565, which have the two applications that the court has identified as added. And then there are these others that have been referred to the court by virtue of the email that we have all seen today. It is my request that the court keeps them in those cohorts so that these are important, but the applications are added. And the court has identified that agent because this will go on for two or three hours without any directions having been given in 565. A lot could we be on the road together. We are being made orphans. The state is in the bedroom. Let us also be in the bedroom so that we can respond. <laughs> So what do you want to do in the bedroom? <laughs> we, we will discuss. We <laughs> will allow the parties to come on the bedroom. Mr. Mr. Demodi, the reason why we are mentioning these matters is to find out if any of them would be right for consolidation with the matter which is here so that we don't duplicate. Thank you. Well, perhaps as you consider that, let me put it on record that if you are considering whether they are right for consolidation, the consolidation should not then slow down the hearing of the application that you have already identified as that. If they are to come on board, they come on board and proceed from where we are. If, let us be on board first. We respond to you appropriately. Allow us even the MSK platform of to be on record. My, 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 my lady and my lords. I, I just have a, a passionate plea to make. There are not many pleas. The first plea is we consider utilizing the ceremonial court on the ground floor because it is patience and sufficient for all of us. That's number one. Number two, my request is this. The court has all the petitions. Why can't the assistance to the court enumerate the parties there? in the quorum, in the manner we used to do with the Court of Appeal before. So that when we appear here, whatever time we indicate, we'll just fill our respective terms, and the courts will be able to deal with the matter without the need of this back and forth. Number three, my lords and my ladies, I think the court needs to just be a little bit proactive. When you retreat, you may make two decisions. One, either to determine the interlocutory applications, in which case you can frame issues for the parties to submit them. Or two, if you're minded to hear the petitions themselves, then still frame the issues and forward it to us so that we're able to make progress. That way we make good use of the initial time and it's very limited in this I beseech you more. Thank you, Mr. Harvey. Well taken. Um, as, as, as a former chairman of the Trump Society, um, let me second the first issue and plead that if only for the purposes of everybody getting sufficient oxygen, because we are too crowded and the people want to listen and the media and the members of the public, if it is possible, <laughs> let us use the ceremonial court. Uh, council, Senior Council, we will use the ceremonial hall as for tomorrow. Thank you. And uh, I wish to say that uh, perhaps when giving directions, then uh, and if parties and files are going to be consolidated, then it will be proper each person is served in the application so that we are able to respond even if we are given a day to respond, so that when we begin to submit, we are able to submit uh, according to the law, not as far the bar and whatever issues are being raised. Thank you. Thank you.
my Lord, I was going to beseech the court. If we had to make progress, I'll beseech the court to invoke its powers under section 55, Article 159, and we go on and on. There is no shortage of legal provisions enabling this court to rein in on the law. <coughs> because if you don't do that, my Lord, on a matter like this where you are 20 lawyers, 50 lawyers on the other side, we will be coming to you. We'll be doing legal gymnastics, legal ping pong, what I call legal sophistry on other occasions. And meanwhile, we'll be lamenting as we are now lamenting to you. So there are applications, both on this side and this side, certified agent. Meanwhile, we are spending a lot of time, each of us from whatever side, starting to raise this or other housekeeping issue. I beseech you, my Lord, in a matter like this, the court must be very firm. It must render counsel. The court itself must have very clear direction, which is the application that will be had, in what sequence, what are the time allocations, how the parties share those times. It, it, you know, we have agreed on that, and what we ask is, let us mention these matters so that we know how they relate to the other matters which are before the court. So we have mentioned 570. We have mentioned... Um, you have 570. We have mentioned 570. There's... Uh, 570. Uh, this 550. 550. We have mentioned E five seventy. E five fifty. Speaker of the National Assembly versus the guy that chuckled. But this file is already consolidated under the cover of five fifty. <laughs> Five fifty. No, I'm sorry, my lord, that was not. Yes, five fifty. Who is in five fifty? Who is in five fifty? My lord, mine is five seventy-two. I'm asking five fifty. Yes, my lord, five fifty. I guess you can tell us who is the application. The petition of Malawi is the, the former deputy president Malawi, represented by Malawi Senior. Malawi, I appear for the deputy president, not former. <laughs> <laughs> He remains in office on the basis of the conservatory order, and each bench has confirmed waiting, waiting issues, which is why we are here. Let's go during the rush for the first petition. For the first petition, I thank you. My lord, if it pleases you, Yamodi and Gumbo for the second respondent. And our learned colleague, Mr. Muruga. That matter, my name is Mukele. I appear together with Ms. Andy and my senior professor, Brenda Muruga, for the third and fourth response. Yes. Who else is in this matter? So, uh, for the petition, Mr. What, what, what are the issues in this matter? Are they relevant to the consolidated petition? There are so many files. Yes. This is the, the, same, the, the, same, the same team of lawyers. Yes. 
including myself that I gave when we came for the ruling, is appearing for the deputy president. But what I'm asking is, is it going to be consolidated or is it standalone? One of the ones that we are consolidating. No. Sorry if I clear Yes, please. For you to be able to progress, I beseech you to join this matter tomorrow. Go and make directions. You're either hearing the petitions or the applications. Come here so that we have a perspective before we progress. Otherwise, you will not make we, we are alive of that fact, Mr. Harvey, that uh, you know, you know, it is, it is, it is the council school be saying that they are right to be had, even on petition, even the slightest issue has not been granted. Therefore, let us agree on the way forward. If uh, you make a proposal, a proposal can come from you, from you side, your side, how you want to deal with all these petitions. Is it possible that you want to ignore all all applications and pursue the petitions? You can make a, a submission which this court can consider. Uh, uh, why not, uh, why not if, if I may, just to guide the court, and on this account, I will do it as senior counsel. <laughs> My Lord, there are urgent applications before you. The applicants or the petitioners that they invited yesterday on a plenary objection that the court has ruled on this afternoon. Now, Lord, we have an urgent application that was filed before you, dated 18th October 2024, for discharge of the conservatory workers. Whatever decision this court makes can be either way. We need to directions on the hearing of all the consolidated petitions. Some of the petitions, my Lord, deal with issues or causes of action that arose before, before, my Lord, the impeachment. The proper position of the law is that the party who is the petitioner is the former deputy president. That's the position of Article 145.7. Allow us, my lords, to urge our application for the setting aside of conservative orders. I think, my lord, that's the only way we can move because the abide, the abide, let us have our bite as well. We will only take 30 minutes, we request. I'm not disagreeing with you, Professor Gianna. What I'm saying is that, let's mention these files. We are on the third one, and if you have not been uh, interrupting, perhaps you will be through with them. Five, 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 zero. I've recorded the program. And the, what I asked, is this file related to the files before the court? For the purposes of consolidation, or it can stand alone. Can we deal with that? We not work. Because consolidation has implications. I need to consult my team.